or in Outlook Web App, also known as Outlook on the Web. And this also works in Office 365. I'm going to show you how to attach a document to an email. Once we've created our email, we can click the little paper clip at the top. There's also a paper clip at the bottom. It doesn't matter which one you choose. They both mean the same thing. And you can browse to the file you want and click open. And what it does is it attaches that email. Now, there's also another way that we can do this as well. We can also go down to File Explorer, for instance. And I'll just sort of minimize that size a little bit so it doesn't take up the whole screen. And I can go to that same file, and I can just drag it in, and we can see it attaches as well. Now, the nice thing about this is you can drag a whole bunch of files. So if you wanted to drag, uh, say, multiple files here, you can just go ahead and drag them in like that. And if you change your mind, you can go ahead and click the X and make them disappear. You can also hit the drop down next to it and you can choose a preview if the file is something that can be previewed in a certain format such as a Word document and you have Word installed or if it's a picture, that kind of thing. Uh, if it's an executable, obviously you won't be able to do that and you probably shouldn't email it anyway. But if it's something that can be previewed, then you can go ahead and do that there. And then once you're done, just go ahead and click send and it will send that attachment. So that gives you a couple of different ways that you can attach files and Outlook on the web as well as Office 365.